Ready? I don't know. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Cafecito. And today we're gonna be reviewing Javalia coffee. <laughs> Javalia Cafe. This is the Colombian roast, medium roast, and we were actually just doing a little bit of research on this, and it's the largest coffee company in Sweden, in Scandinavia. Apparently, they claim that Sweden drinks the most coffee, like Swedes drink the most coffee. This company has been around for almost, let's see, 1853, over 150 years, which is pretty crazy. It also said that they used to sell tea, but they stopped selling tea in 2015 but we were just watching a little video on their website and it was actually really cute like they just seemed really passionate about coffee i like what they said on the video of everybody's obviously they have a coffee on the morning or at night and how it brings everybody together whether if mm -hmm. it's your friends or your family and i think it's kind of true because yeah. You know, it kind of goes back to our little story as to why we started this. <laughs> not necessarily as to why we started this, but also like our similarities and yeah, it was really cute. It was just saying that coffee is like a cup to enjoy with somebody else, and yeah, it just seemed like a nice little. I mean, we would like to go to Sweden. I would like to go to Sweden, so it was pretty cool to see like th that video. I don't know, it was just very interesting. And they were talking about how the owner, the creator of this brand, he was very particular about his coffee um, and it seems like they've continued that tradition down. Uh, it says on the back here, a rich, never bitter coffee experience. They mentioned that in the video. Javalia has been refining the art of expertly crafted coffee since 1853 when our journey began in the small port town of Javle, Sweden. Discover our 150 year pursuit of perfect, perfecting an exceptionally rich, never bitter taste. So with this edition, as we mentioned, this is a Colombian bean, mm -hmm. which is interesting. We've been and, and I, I kind of wanted to touch back on, on how like they said that Swedish people drink the most coffee. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, we drink <laughs> a lot of coffee in Colombia. Yeah. Whether if it's, again, like in the morning, afternoon, nighttime, even. My mom, like, if you're watching this, you know you drink your coffee at night, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think coffee is big in a lot of cultures, but they claimed that the Swedes are one of like the top coffee drinkers. So, very interesting. So it has a little note here about, about that too. They touched upon here, obviously, that they gathered all the beans from a small, small farms on the countryside, 100% Colombian beans, and then they grown over there and brought it over to their factory and made this beautiful coffee. I love the packaging. Mm -hmm. It actually really does resonate and it takes me back to over there. When you go in more towards, um, Medellin. It looks really like the, the city where I'm from also. It's like they have the little mountains in the back. There's a lot of palm trees. We have a lot of palm trees. Obviously, we're right next to the equator. They really target that picture down and it really basically says Colombia, which is really pretty. It's really nice, the packaging overall. Yeah, really. I like how it like goes into this gradient yellow and then it's gloss brown. and then matte. matte. Yeah, it's very nice. And this is a passport collection. So apparently they have other or they do have other types of coffees like Ethiopian and all these other ones that were available to. We've been wanting to do another Colombian one because obviously that's really good coffee. We've never had this brand and I, this was $6.99. $6.99 at Kroger. It was on sale so it's usually a little bit more expensive. Do you want to try it? This is the same thing as our usual French press. We put about six heaping tablespoons. Not even heaping. There's six six tablespoons and probably, I think we said this is like 24, 28 ounces of water, 30? Yeah, approximately. I wanna say it's definitely about 24. high 20s. And we've been letting this steep here for probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. One for me. Two for you. I will say when I initially opened the bag, I didn't like the smell of the coffee, but now that it's been sitting here, it's because it it's the Colombian bean. Like if you were to go back into Juan Valdez, that's what it smells like. Yeah. It's the bean. I it's guess. a different type of bean, and that it smells good now. And then like, well, because we let it sit. You never like to let it sit. All right, let's give this a little sniff, sniff. It smells. It doesn't smell bitter like they they're explaining. You know? Ooh, that's good. It smells, I always, <laughs> I always refer back to like a good morning 
<laughs> Such a great way to describe it. Oh my goodness. Can we try it? Feels like it's gonna be hot, kinda hot. Toasty, not bitter. Hmm, that's interesting. I can uh, smooth. Not the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Ooh, this one was kind of weird right there. This third try, third attempt. <laughs> to me, it's the aftertaste kind of tastes like a, a marshmallow, like a toasted marshmallow. I don't know how to explain one. Yeah, it tastes like something is cooked over fire. Yes, I was actually gonna say something like that. I, I was gonna say something Toasty. about like. Um, a bonfire. We were just talking, there were bonfires at Ponce? Yeah, that's what it kind of reminds me of, like a bonfire. But which something is weird, that you cook. But something that like, something that you would cook. It tastes like a, a toasted marshmallow to me at the end, like a little burnt. Not in a bad way though. <laughs> I would give this like a seven and a half out of 10. It's pretty comforting. I think that the problem is, is that also it's like every coffee has a different taste. And when it comes to rating, it's obviously going to be a different rating because every one is different. However, with this one, very different. And you don't I, like I, can't, it? I can't put my, my tongue on it. <laughs> you don't I don't like know. It. It, it's good. It's just different for sure. As far as rating, I mean, say a 6.5. As we might have talked to in the previous video, is that we're actually approaching spring. And yesterday we went on a walk around the Atlanta Beltline, which is really nice. If you haven't gone to the Beltline, which I'm sure maybe a lot of people that live in the Atlanta area are obviously familiar with it, but if you're not and you do visit, it's very nice, especially at nighttime. Yeah, it's nice. The ambience is pretty cool now, and considering everything that has happened, um, everybody obviously seems to be fine with it. You just wear a mask and you walk around, and uh, pretty cool. There was actually, I was listening to a podcast yesterday as well, talking about, we can link it down below, about walking and how it's good for your brain health. Like it helps you to be more creative, it helps you to remember things. And there's like a study that, I don't know, multiple studies out there that they show if you do an activity after walking, you are better at it. Even if you're older, like they were talking about 70 year olds and uh, they were doing better than somebody who was 20 something who didn't go on a walk. So we love walking, that's one of our favorite things to do. It's a free activity and it feels good it's relaxing we get to spend time together we can we usually do a lot of talking when we mm -hmm. which is good it's it's like not necessarily just any type of talk and usually we talk more so about like our either our future mm -hmm. and our goals, our goals <laughs> financial goals yeah the things that are happening with our current life yeah, and uh, our jobs, our jobs and everything like that yeah. so it's very it's very good because you know it's kind of like a um, therapeutic therapeutic, therapeutic. Yeah. oh hello <laughs> siri just came off that's weird yeah it's very therapeutic and plus you get out in nature which is another thing considering i mean assuming you go out where there's like trees and stuff it's better in actual nature um, but yeah, we really love it. Do want to thank y'all for watching. To everybody that's been actively watching, I appreciate that. And of course, as always, do the things. And <laughs> also, if you have any other brands, and actually, uh, there has someone that has recommended a brand in one of our previous videos, which was our Baraku. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Caribou? Caribou. <laughs> So funny. Oh my god, because I was a Baraku? Baraku. <laughs> Caribou. Uh, Joshua, if you're watching this, uh, you actually commented on one of our previous videos. We will be giving that uh, coffee a try. We bought this, uh, well, weeks ago. Layla bought this a couple weeks ago. So be on the lookout for that video. I do appreciate the comments. So we'll definitely be reviewing that shortly. Cowie, Cowie coffee? The Cowie coffee. So stay tuned for that. On another note, thanks for watching. Appreciate everything. We'll see you in our next one. Take care. <laughs>